بسم الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المسلمين. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Abu Firdaus from Boston. I've been practicing uh, Axus exorcism since 2017. So I would like to tell you that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has blessed us with new way of treatments, which called Jin Kachin, evil spirits Kachin. الحمد لله الله سبحانه وتعالى has blessed us with this effective and quick way so subhanallah how how we treat people so we should let you know first of all that when someone ask us or called us or he's suffering himself so he went to the doctors he went to the hospitals but they said that you have nothing there is nothing showing up in your body you're all set you are fine you look fine so because let me tell you something because the spiritual problems uh, will not show up in the developed scanners and machines so the one that he is suffering from spiritual problem himself himself he knows that there is something wrong in his body i give you example so let's say someone is suffering from evil eye so how do i know that i'm suffering from evil eye of course by the symptoms so from the symptoms of the evil eye that someone feels always tired always weak always want to sleep the whole day and at night even if he spends the whole day working at night the, the first minute he puts his head on over the pillow the sleep runs away we call it al arak insomnia means that there is shaitan he's trying to prohibit him from sleeping this is another one insomnia plus the one that he's suffering from evil eye he fears a lot for just a simple thing he has a big fear plus sometimes his heart starts beating quick quick it's not normal sometimes he feels some kind of uh, cold in his legs and most of people they f they have evil eye they always cold even in the summer they have to wear coats jackets because they feel that their bodies are always cold even the weather is nice and hot plus blockages in life in work in marriage things are not going well even in study they forget they cannot focus so this is some symptoms of evil eye <laughs> sometimes they feel that their body is, is hot like they have fever they have fever that's sign of being hit by evil eye for those they are suffering from magic or may call it black magic most of the time they see in the dreams that they eat they eat while they are dream means they are going outside with their families or their friends and they eat some some food that's a sign that the, the shaitan in the body he tries to renew the sihr, the magic to keep himself strong on you in your body plus the headaches and whatever sihr, whatever magic in the stomach or in the in the intestines will send some vapor or vaporiz vaporization to the head that's why they feel headaches so step by step we try to give people some program how is your relationship between you and allah do you pray do you make dhikr uh, do you read the Quran? Do you make sighfar? Do you make salat upon Prophet ﷺ? How's your life in general? Do you eat halal? Do you eat haram? Do you eat riba? How's your life between you and others? Your life with your wife, with your husband, with your children? How's your work? Do you stay in the same work for a long time or just few few weeks? they fire you without any reason how's your money 
Are you able to save some money or you cannot save anything? The minute you start saving, something will come and you have to spend whatever you spent, whatever you saved. Uh, you are married, you cannot marry. For those that are looking for, for, for wives or for spouses, everything is, is, is blocked. That's a sign that, that the person is being hit by a spiritual problem. A uh, spiritual problem is that most of the time you have a shaitan, not just one, most of the time it's more than a shaitan, enters your body and starts making and showing the symptoms. How do you feel when you read Surah Al-Baqarah, when you listen to Surah Al-Baqarah? How do you feel when you make dhikr, when you read Al-Mu'awwidhas, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بَرْبِ الْفَرَقِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بَرْبِ النَّاسِ And wait on your body, according to the Sunnah. How do you feel when you start listening to the Ruqya? Do you feel some norms? Like your, your arms numb, or, or your legs, or your head? some pain, some places, some pools. So it means it has to be a reaction. It has to be a reaction if you are really suffering from this. If you read the Quran or listen to the Quran to, and to the Ruqya and you, you don't feel anything, that's Alhamdulillah sign. Or maybe, 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 because some, in some situations the, the, jinn, the, the jinn runs away from the body and comes only at night or at a certain time. When you don't feel anything, maybe there is something wrong. But as long as the symptoms are there, means there is some problem, spiritual problem. So first, Alhamdulillah, from the Quran, from the Sunnah, you have to have a schedule for yourself. Do you pray Salah Subh in time? Prophet says, "Man Salah Subh fa fi dhimmatillah." Whoever prays Subh. You will be under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the whole day. Means that the meaning of the hadith, you will be under the protection of under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will have blessing the whole day. You will have blessing and barakah in your rizq, in your time, in your life. That's alhamdulillah, that's very good. That's why I advise every Muslim to pray Salat Subh on time. If there is a masjid close to him, it's better to go to the masjid. Because Salat with congregation is better than Salat alone at home. After Salat Subh, sit down, make Dhikr. We call it Adhkar as Sabah, morning Dhikr. Because that morning Dhikr is like a fortress for you. To have a shield against the Shaitan. The Dua of going out from the house. Bismillah. You will be protected from the shaitan. Uh, we have to teach our children this dua. How to enter to the bathrooms, to be protected from the jinn, from the chaya, from the shayateen. To teach yourself and teach your children before you enter to the bathroom, you should recite the dua. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubthi wal khabaith. Oh Allah, I ask your protection from al khubth from jinn male and jinn female. That's the meaning of the hadith. You enter the bathroom, you do whatever you want to do. You don't talk, you don't, you don't sing, you don't yell in the bathroom. You get out, ghafranak. You enter with the left leg, you get out with the right leg. This is all the sunnah. I'm not, I'm not bringing anything from myself. This is... You find everything I'm saying in the Sunnah. When you enter to your house, you say Bismillah. The Shaitan will not be able to enter with you. When you start your, your food, cooking or eating, you say Bismillah. When you say Bismillah, there is a Barakah. Shaitan will not share with you any food, nothing at all. So let's start by this. By this. Salat Subh. Adhkar Sabah, you find this in, if you charge, like, if you download, like, Hisn al-Muslim, or any, any app, any Adhan app, you find Adhkar Sabah, Adhkar al-Masa, morning dhikr, and evening dhikr. You read Ayat al-Kursi after every Salat, before you sleep, you read Ayat al-Kursi, Aman al-Rasul, 
that's the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah and you you blow you do nath upon your your hands three times and your sides قُلُوا اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بَرَبِّ الْفَرَقْ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بَرَبِّ النَّاسِ and you wipe on your body three times before you sleep so the Prophet ﷺ showed us this he used to do so to Al Hassan and Hussein radiallahu anhuma when they were children to be protected from the evil eye. So, inshallah, for next videos, we'll start explaining to you how to protect yourself from the evil eye. And if there's something wrong with your, with your symptoms, we'll try to give you some clouds idea how to deal with this, inshallah. This is your brother Abu Firdaus from Boston, USA. Hada wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam barakallahu Muhammad alayhi wa sahbihi wa khuridawana alhamdulillah rabbil